Dear students, I am going to present to you a theorem regarding the transformation of a continuous variable using the Jacobian of transformation. I will present the statement of the theorem followed by the proof. The theorem is as follows. Let capital X be a continuous random variable with PDF small f of x and support Sx. Now, let y be equal to g of x, where g of x is a one-to-one -one differentiable function on the support of x, Sx. If we denote the inverse function by x, in other words, if x is equal to g inverse y, and if we take the derivative, dx by dy is the same thing as d by dy of g inverse y, then the PDF of the transformed variable, capital Y, is given by small f of y of the random variable y is equal to small f of g inverse y for the random variable x multiplied by the absolute value of dx over dy. And this, all of this happening for y belonging to sy, where sy is the support of y given by y is equal to g of x, where x itself belongs to sx. आपने देखा होगा कि आपको लगा कि बहुत ही एक लंबी चौड़ी स्टेटमेंट है जो चलती ही चली जा रही है और पता नहीं इसका क्या मफहूम है बट दिस इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट थेरम व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मेनी मेनी टाइम्स वी आर यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर मेथड ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग वेरिएबल्स सो लेट मी ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू स्टेप बाय स्टेप बाय स्टेप एंड इन यू विल नॉट फाइंड इट सो डिफिकल्ट हम दोबारा से स्टार्ट करते हैं बात को और सबसे पहले हम उस पहले जुमले की तरफ दोबारा जाते हैं कि x जो है दैट इज अ कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल उसका जो पी डी एफ है दैट इज स्मॉल एफ ऑफ एक्स और सपोर्ट का क्या मतलब होता है दैट इंटरवल दैट इंटरवल ऑन द x एक्सिस जिसके ऊपर वो फंक्शन डिफाइंड है और उसको हमने डिनोट किया है बाय एस एक्स द सपोर्ट ऑफ एक्स डिनोटेड बाय एस एक्स आप कह सकते हैं या मे बी यू कैन इवन कॉल इट द स्पेस ऑफ एक्स तो ये पहली बात हो गई सीधी सी बात है कि एक हमारे पास कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल अवेलेबल है अब इसके बाद हम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन करना चाहते हैं वी आर ट्राइंग टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स टू द रैंडम वेरिएबल वाई और फिर हम इंटरेस्टेड हैं इस बात में कि y की जो आ, है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन या डेंसिटी फंक्शन वो हम निकाल सकें तो इसमें थेरम में अभी मैंने जो कहा वो ये है कि ये जो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन है गिवन बाय y इज इक्वल टू जी ऑफ एक्स यहाँ पे ये शर्त आयद कर दी कर दी है कि ये जो g ऑफ x है दिस शुड बी अ वन टू वन फंक्शन एंड इट शुड बी अ डिफ्रेंशियबल फंक्शन ये दोनों बातें इंपॉर्टेंट हैं क्योंकि जो ये वाला जो मेथड है दिस इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल अनलेस दीज रिक्वायरमेंट आर बींग फुलफिल्ड अभी ये अगर ऐसी जो कंडीशन जो हम जो इम्पोज कर रहे हैं अगर ये फुलफिल हो रही है तो फिर आप ये नोट करें स्टूडेंट्स कि इस सूरत में ये जो फंक्शन है either it will be strictly increasing function or it will be a strictly decreasing function let me repeat if the function g of x is one to one and also it is a continuous function uh, this will either be strictly increasing or strictly decreasing as you can see on the graph that you now have in front of you for example if we have the function g of x as x square so isme 
you can see that it is one to one because for any value of x, you will only have one value, which is the square of that x. And when you draw the graph, you can see that it is an it is a strictly increasing function. Isi tara, you can have the other situation. For example, if g of x is one over x, is case maybe it is one to one because for every value of x, you will have its reciprocal as only one single value. And iska graph ab jab banate hain. So, aap jaisa ke dek sakte hain, this one is a strictly decreasing function. So, ye hai wo condition jo humne impose ki hui hai, ki agar is tarah ki situation hai, ki humara function ya uh, strictly increasing ho, ya strictly decreasing ho, to us case mein uh, jo formula uh, aap ke saamne mene rakha thodi der pehle, ab mein isko prove karti hu, ki how we get to that uh, equation. So we start from the CDF of y. In the very first case, when we assume that the function is strictly increasing, what will be the capital F of small y for the random variable y? As you can see on the screen, capital F of small y means the probability of the random variable y being less than or equal to small y. But since y itself is equal to g of x, so we can write it as probability of g of x being less than or equal to small y. Ab agar hum inverse function apply kar dein, to hum lik sakenge, ke this probability is also equal to the probability of capital X, the random variable X, being less than or equal to g inverse y. And this can be written as capital F of g inverse y for the random variable x. Ab jab aapke pas capital F a gaya hai, to aap derivative agle step mein you will take the derivative so that you can come to your small f of y, which is what you are wanting to get to. So, equation jo aapko is vakt nazar a rahi hai, uski dono sides pe agar aap ab derivative apply kare with respect to y, then what do you get? You get the derivative of capital F of y, that is small f of y, and that is equal to the d by dy of capital F g inverse y, capital F of g inverse y for the random variable x. Iska derivative jab lete hai, to calculus ke jo rules hai, uske mutabik, it comes out to be small f of g inverse y. For the random variable x multiplied by dx by dy. So dx by dy is the derivative of the function x equal to g inverse y. Now since uh, g is an increasing function, my dear students, therefore dx by dy is a positive entity and therefore we can say that the modulus of dx, or dx by dy is the same as dx by dy. Therefore, our equation becomes f of y is equal to f of g inverse y of the random variable x into the modulus of dx by dy. The same kind of an argument follows in the case, the other case, when we assume that g of x is a strictly decreasing function, lekin thoda sa farq hai. It is similar, but at one point, you will see that it is slightly different also. Isme bhi hum dobara usi tarah shuru karte hain. The capital F of small y for the random variable y, meaning the probability of capital Y being less than or equal to small y, or in other words, the probability of gx, g of x, being less than or equal to small y. Students, is case mein, jab aap inverse function lenge, to aapka ab jo expression aega, that will not be the same as what you had in the earlier case. Now, this probability is given by the probability of x being greater than or equal to g inverse y. And 
this is in turn equal to 1 minus capital F of G inverse Y for the random variable X. ये जो मैंने अभी आपसे कहा कि इस केस में probability of X greater than G inverse Y आ जाता है less than नहीं आता greater than और equal to आता है इसकी वजह क्या है इसलिए कि ये स्ट्रिक्टली डीक्रीजिंग फंक्शन है अगर आपकी वाई वैल्यू एक पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू से कम होनी है तो एक्स वैल्यू एक पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू से ज्यादा होनी है इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप दैट इज वाई वी हैव इट लाइक दिस नाउ दैट वी हैव गॉट दिस इक्वेजन दिस रिजल्ट विच आई हैव जस्ट प्रेजेंटेड अब बिल्कुल जैसे पहली दफा किया था उसी तरह आप इसका डेरिवेटिव लेंगे विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई सो डी बाई डी वाई ऑफ कैपिटल एफ ऑफ स्मॉल वाई फॉर द एन एमेरेबल वाई इज इक्वल टू डी बाई डी वाई ऑफ वन माइनस कैपिटल एफ ऑफ जी इनवर्स वाई ऑफ द रैन एमेरेबल एक्स सो लेट्स अप्लाई द डेरेवेटिव लेफ्ट हैंड साइड कैन बी रिटर्न नाउ एज स्मॉल एफ ऑफ वाई फॉर द रैन एमेरेबल वाई and on the right hand side the derivative of 1 is equal to 0 and the derivative of capital f of g inverse y of the random variable x can be written as small f of g inverse y of the random variable x multiplied by dx by dy ab aap dekh rahe hain ki ab jo expression aaya hai usme minus sign 0 to khatam ho gaya to minus sign attach hua hai but students because in this situation that i am discussing now g is a strictly decreasing function therefore the derivative dx by dy is a negative entity it is less than zero and that's why minus dx by dy is a positive entity the minus of something negative is positive and that's why Minus dx by dy can be written as modulus of dx by dy. Therefore, in this way, you can see that you get exactly the same equation in both cases. Uh, strictly increasing may be, or strictly decreasing may be, the final result is that which is in the statement of the theorem: small f of y for the random variable y. is equal to small f of g inverse y of the random variable x multiplied by the modulus of dx by dy students the modulus of dx by dy is called the jacobian of transformation aksar oqat hum isko jacobian of transformation kehte hain but if you read some uh, rigorous mathematics books you will find that they would call it the jacobian of inverse transformation anyway by and large generally we say jacobian of transformation and it is denoted by capital j so this as i said is a fundamentally important theorem when we talk about transformations and it is actually very convenient to apply the only thing is that the conditions that i have uh, presented to you they need to be fulfilled if we want to apply this particular procedure for uh, transforming our random variable x to y